Thanks for watching this video today about constipation and kidney disease. This is Robert Galarowitz from Healthy Kidney Inc. And as someone who's been through all stages of kidney disease, including dialysis and a kidney transplant, I can tell you that I dealt with a lot of constipation and a lot of gut health issues. And this video is about how to, how to help your gut and how help to improve and get rid of that constipation so you're having regular bowel movements that's gonna actually help your health, your whole body health, help your kidney. Um, and it's just better for you to make you feel better because being constipated doesn't feel good. Now, how come people with kidney disease and chronic kidney disease, especially in the later stages, get constipation? All right, the reason is, is that your kidneys can't filter all the toxins. So these toxins are building up in your body, all these kidney toxins. And so they're circulating in the blood and eventually they get redeposited into your colon. Okay, and you build up all these toxins there and they get, they're called uremic toxins. And some are actually um, made by your gut, okay, by an imbalance of what's going on there. And so all these toxins, uremic toxins, the toxins that your uh, kidney can't filter out in your body that come in on your food, all get deposited there in your gut and it throws off the whole environment. Okay, the whole environment's a mess now. Your peristalsis, okay, the wave-like movement, to move things through when your digestive system is thrown off. It's really slow, so you get constipated. The environment is not a good environment with good balance of good bacteria, not on all these toxins circulating around, causing issues. So your microbiome is completely off. Okay, the microbiome is the, um, the name, the more medical scientific term for, for your gut. Okay, your gut health, the environment that's there. Now, how do you fix it? Okay, and I've tried everything. Before I was trained in nutrition and natural health sciences and became a naturopath, I used to take laxatives, colon cleanses, uh, fiber, all different things that would help. And what the research shows and what we know more and more about over the years is that you wanna first focus on these three things. Okay, probiotics, which is good bacteria for your digestive health, fiber, and water. Okay, so what all those three, those three things do is they help improve and correct the whole balance and help get better gut health, a better microbiome. So probiotics, we talk a lot about probiotics in our other videos. We do have a kidney specific one called Kidney Restore that you can read about, but if you decide not to use it, that's fine. You still wanna follow um, these, these, these uh, guidelines when it comes to picking a probiotic for kidney health. So if you buy anything over the counter, you want it to be at least, okay, 25 or 50 billion or more per day. Probiotics is good bacteria, so the more you have, the better it is. At least that 25 or billion per pill. So that's one thing, you can check our channel. We have a lot more videos about probiotics, even how to make a probiotic drink if you want, which is all from different um, science-based journals and how to support good kidney health. Okay, next, you wanna have adequate fiber. Now, dietary fiber is the fiber that comes in on your food. You wanna make sure you're eating plenty of fiber, but also taking a fiber supplement. And there's different types of fiber supplements. There's soluble and insoluble. Soluble dissolves in water, insoluble doesn't dissolve in water. You wanna use soluble fibers when it comes to supporting your kidney health. So a lot out there, and, and when you do, you wanna start with maybe six grams of fiber and work your way up to 20, even as high as 30 grams of fiber, okay? Because the more fiber, the better. It helps sweep out and all those toxins and helps your gut health by creating more short chain fatty acids, uh, all these good things that have to do with your microbiome. And it helps those probiotics grow. So that fiber also acts as a prebiotic to help a lot of those probiotics grow. So that's a good thing. So fiber, fiber, fiber. Next is water. Okay, so fiber doesn't really work well without water. They go hand in hand. Now, if you are restricted on your fluid intake, follow those guidelines by your nephrologist, uh, maybe the dietitian. If you're on dialysis, you, you'd be fluid restricted. Follow those guidelines, but you have to have adequate water to make fiber work. Okay, so that's all gonna vary depending on your body weight, your size. Um, for general guidelines, eight, eight ounce glasses per day of water are good for most people. If you're a bigger person, if you're sweating more, if you're more athletic, you can have much more water. But if you have any type of water restriction or fluid restriction, follow that. Okay, don't go by what you know we're saying here in the video. So always follow uh, your doctor's advice, whoever you're under, uh, whoever's seeing you and you're under their medical care. Okay, so you wanna follow those guidelines. But if you're looking to improve constipation, 
Start with the probiotics, okay? You can take a look at ours, uh, Kidney Restore. It's on HealthyKidneyInc.com and Amazon. Or go by the guidelines that I talked about with the 25 to 50 billion at least per day or more and check out our other videos. Fiber, okay, soluble fiber, gradually building your way up, starting with about six grams and working your way up to 10, 15, 20 grams of fiber per day. And the third thing is adequate water. And starting there will really help to start correcting that constipation, correcting the underlying issues of the constipation, not just um, I'm taking a laxative and going. These help repair and fix the underlying issues, which then help your entire body health from your cardiovascular system, cholesterol to your kidney health. Okay, you can actually improve and support normal kidney function by having adequate uh, probiotics, fiber, and water. So it's something that also benefits you there. So many more videos, things you can look at. Take a look at our channel, like, subscribe, our website, healthykidneyinc.com. And from one kidney disease sufferer to another, to your best kidney health. Bye.